This week on Fly Rod Chronicles, we head over to Tiger Lake State Park in Grafton, West Virginia. This is a unique show because we will first be meeting up with professional bass fisherman John Christopher in search of bass on the lake. As the leaves change and fall starts to set in, we'll be meeting up with our good friends John and Ben Riley and fish the tailwaters of the tiger. The whole time we spent filming this, I was reminded the time I got to spend with my oldest daughter, Lakin, fishing the headwaters of the tiger. This episode is full of fly fishing, friends, and memories, so stick around. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. Welcome to Fly Rod Chronicles today. Um, behind me here is the Tiger State Park Dam. Uh, this dam's got a lot of history. Uh, the actual construction on this dam started in 1935 and it was finished uh, ahead of time in 1938. Um, this show's divided up. The headwaters you're gonna see where me and my daughter um, we go up to the, 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 way up in the mountains, clear up in Randolph County, and fish the very trinkle waters that, that start this lake. And then later in the fall, we're gonna fish the tailwaters, which downstream, again, will take you to Pittsburgh. We're gonna meet our good buddy JC, and, and we're gonna focus on some bass. So, uh, so stick around, and um, I'm excited. So JC, thanks for coming out with us today. Um, you know, it, it's unique how we met. You know, you, you saved us on the river one day. You remember that a few yeah, years, right? Tiger River, yep. Yeah, and which, which literally, here we are at Tiger State Park on, on the Tiger Lake. How many miles past the dam do you think that is that you, you saved us one day? Probably about 12 miles. 12 miles down the river, yep. right? We grew up in the same home area and I hear your name a lot. And you know, you're one of the young guys that's, that's really coming up in these bass tournaments. Yeah. I mean, how long you been doing it? Probably close to 15 years. Started out the, on a junior level, fishing the Federation stuff, and then worked my way up into the adult series, then started fishing on a regional level and start traveling Virginia, Tennessee, Alabama, Florida, New York, Texas. Yeah just all over the country chasing those little green fish. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we'll talk more on the water, but I'm excited about getting out today, covering what you do. We might sneak a little fly fishing in, yeah. see how we can improvise and, and show how your type of fishing works with Fly Rod Chronicles. Yeah. And, uh, and play around today and go have fun. Yeah. That's more my speed. <laughs> hey, that's right. Yeah. You couldn't go without catching a small no, one, huh? No. Nice. That's nice. a little keeper. That is, man. That's a good one. Heck yeah. Nice, nice. All right. Oh, nice, nice. That's another big white bass. So, that's, so there, there's another white bass. Yeah, see. Now, so, and it, oh, that's a good bass. So 
This is part of, of Jared Harmon's work right here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. He nice. uh, he done a lot of lot of good for the state, that's for sure. Nice. Helped improve some of the fisheries. That's awesome. Really cool. seen that yet. Jeez, <laughs> oh, Christian, you're not rolling. Tell me you're not rolling. <sighs> what do yeah. you think, man? What do you think? That's the biggest one of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a large mouth. mouth. Yeah. That's a large mouth. That's a bucket mouth that's right there. Probably hey. goes 10 pounds, don't you hey, think? Let me tell you what. I got a lip him. Hey, so, so when you get a picture, you get it right up where you get slime on the camera, yeah. right? Hey, six pounder. Yeah, that's what Roll Martin said. That's what Roll said. Yeah. Six, six pounder. Shoot. <laughs> we we can hold that on the other side of the camera. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't even get six ounces. Yeah. You believe that? Ain't that something? It's 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 bigger than a fly. <laughs> I mean, how do you? Even Better one. Large mouth. You got a large mouth? Yeah. You got a good large yeah. mouth. <laughs> My God, look at that. Yeah, we got to get right. a picture. Don't throw him in there. All right. We, we haven't got a good large mouth, have we? Mm -mm. So JC, right here behind us, this is a result of the habitat and the conservation efforts that we were talking about that Jared Harmon, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And, um, and you know, I, I bring this up and this is, you know, dear to my heart with reefs across America with the National Cemetery and over the holidays during Christmas, um, you know, volunteers and, you know, Michelle do as it works for me. She goes up and she volunteers and they put reefs at the National Cemetery, yeah, right there in Grafton, West Virginia, and they put reefs on every grave. And uh, you know, one of these reefs, because you said these are reefs, reefs from last year. Yeah, that's these are all from last year, I believe. Yeah, and they come in and they take the reefs, and and when they remove them, rather than throwing them away, they come in, and 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 it it takes a lot of people, and I think the DNR is involved. Yeah. And, and the Corps of Engineers too. Corps of Engineers, that's right. Yep. And uh, and they form this habitat. And and you know, la last time we were here, um, we were looking at these things. We were over top, top of them. Yeah. Looking straight down with a live scope. Yeah. And I really didn't know what we were looking at. I knew we were looking at at the reefs, right? Yeah, but you couldn't really get a. No. And now, now you get to see. Yeah. Exactly what we were looking at. Yeah. And here in a couple months. You know, I'll be standing, you know, o over top of my mom with another reef. Yeah. You know, and uh, just, just, a, just a cool story. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, that reef will end up here somewhere. I know. Yeah. Okay, so this is the maiden voyage for uh, uh, our, our Rocky Mountain rafts. New Rocky Mountain rafts and frames, yeah. Yeah, 
So pretty cool, huh? Super cool. Yeah. yeah nice 14 foot drop stitch floors. I mean, they're a fishing machine right now. Nice, yeah. nice. Now, we're, we're hoping that the, the Riley boys that they get some fish slime on these these rafts for us, right? That's right. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> fish on. Fish on. I'm here with Superintendent Miller, and and you've been here at Tiger State Park for how long? About seven years. Nice, nice. And uh, um, so the changes that you personally seen down here is uh, have been many. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. A little over two and a half million dollars spent enlarging, mm -hmm. upgrading, lengthening the ramps, widening one of the ramps, extending the ramp close to Winter Pool. To extend the boating season. Yeah. So every cabin in the park system uh, saw uh, some level of improvement. And uh, ours have been completely remodeled inside. And I know yeah. you I noticed your marina, I mean, I saw a lot of out, out of state boaters this year and mm -hmm. made some changes to the marina. Uh, marina added uh, 30 some new docks about a year ago. Yeah. It allowed them to, you know, get some more people in here. We see a lot of people from PA. Mm hmm. Uh, folks come down here um, so people keep coming absolutely we got a good local local following mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of folks come up here two or three days a week and, and, oh, yeah. and we're excited about that we yeah like to get the community involved absolutely <laughs> Fish on! Yeah. We're bass fishing. Bass. Hey, every time you and I hook up, we get into the bass stuff. I told you, that's, that's the thing. Is that what it is? Yeah, I thought, well, you entered the portal anyway. I know, so, man. So. Let's check this guy out. Let's check this guy. On the Creelix, too, huh? Yeah. You know what? Charlie, we'll take him. Yeah. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Come on. Nah. Yeah, Smiley. Told you. Green worm. Nice. <laughs> nice. Small mouth. Yep. Nice little smally here. You really don't get any power. Here's your fish. Oh my god. That little guy. That's good to zoom all the way in. <laughs> I don't think he's much bigger than my, my bin on you. <laughs> so Charlie, here we are talking about trout routes again and yeah. you know, planning this trip um, as simple as the water flows and we're in the tailwaters. Of, of, of Tiger Lake tailwaters and um, just planning a rafting trip uh, as simple as needing an anchor. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I haven't floated this section very much and, um, you know, wasn't really sure as to what the conditions were gonna be and coming up, we live about two hours away and so coming up through here, and so on the drive up, you know, we're like, are we gonna be able to get up there with the rafts? Are we gonna be able to get down river with the rafts? Can we set an anchor? Is, is the flow gonna to be too too heavy? But on the road up, you know, we pulled up trout routes, went to the stream gauge. It's like, oh, we're running at this. You got some other information in through there. We're like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good for us. We can get right up to the, I mean, we paddled right up to the dam itself at this point. Um, and so, yeah, it just, rather than trying to cipher things out from multiple sites, all on the one app which just makes it so much easier for us again this saves a lot of homework right here so uh you know um uh again what a great what a great app um yeah yeah, yeah it's great to have them on as partners and it certainly it cuts a little bit of the leg work out for us so it's been great
Charlie, tell me what yep. the Live Rock Chronicles is having for dinner tonight. Well, we're getting ready to have some roasted Brussels sprouts with some bacon and onion, a mushroom risotto. We got some 16 ounce porterhouse steaks. We have some fresh oysters on the half shell with the minier, and we've got uh, a cocktail sauce and then Caesar salad too, to kind of get get everybody's stomach going and get ready for the, the steaks. So Nice. Yeah. The only thing I heard was cocktail. Cocktail sauce. Well, we, we've got plenty of cocktails oh, floating that, around. Okay. Yeah, but you got to talk to the bartender up this, the chef. <laughs> You'd come to the state park, um, bring your own groceries, yeah. uh, go fish a little bit, hang yeah. out, do a little boating, and, and come back here and do it upright. Yeah, got all the amenities, got a fire outside. We're going to cook the steaks over a fire, but, I mean, right across the street, I just saw where they've got a kid's playground there. They've got disc golf. I mean, there's so much stuff to do here in the park, yeah. and, uh, and you got a great cabin with fireplace and everything, and like you said, you can bring all your food, fix for the family, have, a, have just a good outing. I'm digging it. All right. This episode it's about Tigert Lake and we get to do some fishing with our good buddy JC and then we go to the tailwaters with some good friends but now we're gonna do a little flashback where Lakin comes in from college and I get to spend at the headwaters with Lakin where it all begins chasing some trout faster strip a little faster a little faster take your rod tip up as you got it okay just hold your rod tip up okay Okay, keep attention on him. That's it. Now he's going nuts. Very good, very good. If he wants to go downstream, let him go downstream. Keep that rod tight. Keep it tight. That's it. Let's bring it right down here. Into this. Good, good. Now we got him in some slack water. Pull him to me. Right here in the slow water. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. There you go, good job. All, All right. right. Very important, catch and release. Mm -hmm. Conservation, getting this fish back. Um, you, you know, you fought him for a long time. You, you can see he's laboring right there. Mm -hmm. So we don't even have to touch his fish. We can literally move the net down, let the fish swim out on its own. We didn't, we didn't put our hands on the fish. We didn't touch it. That's what it's about putting that thing back, it, 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 look at it. It's already back to its regular strength. I hope you enjoyed that throwback and what an awesome memory it was. You know, with this show, I got to spend it with our good friend, JC. He's an up and coming bass enthusiast and I can't wait to see where he ends up on the circuit. You know, we got to fish the tailwaters and my good friend, Ben and John. We got to spend it with family and friends. We got to see that whole tiger system from the very beginning, the trinkle where the water comes in, all the way to the lake, to the tailwaters, as it goes clear up to Pittsburgh. You know, this system flows north, it's unique. It goes all the way north, goes to the Mississippi, and goes all the way down to Texas. Crazy how this works. And we got to take in Tigert Lake State Park, you know, a place that's dear to my heart. And we got to spend time with family and friends. You know, the state of West Virginia, the Division of Natural Resources and Tourism, they've put a lot of hard work into this place. And they're proud of our state park. Hey, come back next week for more Fly Rod Chronicles.